So you guys know I spent over half my career working in an Italian restaurant, right? Well, today I want to show you how I make my meatballs. I spent a long time perfecting this recipe and I think you're going to like it. I start with 12 pounds of ground beef and I do 6 pounds of pork sausage. That's my ratio. Now, we set that aside and we're going to do our veggies. I use red bell peppers, green bell peppers, yellow onion, fresh parsley because it adds a great aromatic, and of course I got tons of garlic I put in there. Now I'm going to throw all this into the food processor. What we're going to do is puree it all. We don't want to just chop it up. I want to get this almost liquefied. So we're going to let it go for a few minutes till it looks like this. Then we'll go ahead and add that right back into our meat. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and add my eggs. You can do anywhere from 10 to 12. Just get them cracked, pour them right into there, and you'll be good to go. Set that aside, and we're going to make a panade. Now, this is a mixture of bread and milk. Actually, this is the secret to keeping those meatballs tender, and it also helps hold the moisture in them. So when I get the bread in there, I also like to add a little bit of this beef base. It's going to be a perfect time to get some additional flavor into these meatballs. I pour in my milk. We're going to go ahead and throw on the lid. We're going to put this over on the mixer, and we're going to just puree it till it gets nice and smooth. Let it go for three or four minutes. You can't over mix this. The smoother, the better. And we'll go ahead and put that right into the meat mixture as well. Be sure and scrape that out and get all of it in there. Now we're going to go ahead and season. I start with my Parmesan cheese. Go ahead and hit that with a couple big handfuls of salt because we don't want these to be bland. Hit it with some black pepper and then I have some Italian seasoning. That's the perfect mixture of spices. Now we mix. And you guys, this is going to take a few minutes. It might actually take seven, eight, or ten minutes. You got to get this really mixed well. Blend it, blend it, blend it. We don't want to have any secret little pockets of spices that kind of surprise you when you break into your meatball. So go ahead and get this all mixed up. When you think you're done, you're probably not, so mix it for another couple minutes. You really want to blend it well, guys. Let it look like this, and then it's time to make some balls. Go ahead and get your tray out. I throw down a silicone mat, and I like to use a little water on my gloves. That's going to help keep them from sticking. And we go ahead and just start rolling up them balls. I try to form a nice little round, solid ball. I'm going about the size of a baseball, actually. Oh, we get that all rounded up, set it down. We're just going to continue the process. A little bit more water, another handful of meat. Now, I don't make these meatballs very often anymore, but I did it for so long, I kind of have a good feel for what size I'm supposed to make and how to grab the right amount of meat. Everybody knows what I'm talking about when you do something over and over. Repetition has its way of doing that, helping you out in the kitchen. So I get all my balls done. Meanwhile, the oven's preheating 360 degrees, and we're gonna throw these in there for about 45 minutes. What we're looking for is an internal temperature of 165 degrees, and look at that ball, it's absolutely perfect. Let's go ahead and make some sauce, and we'll get these things plated up. So I'm gonna start with some olive oil in a pan, and we're gonna throw down a yellow onion. I just got a small dice on that. Mix that around in there. I don't want to burn this. I don't want any brown on that onion. Just soften it up a little bit and we'll add in our garlic. Same thing with the garlic. No brown on the garlic. Just soften it up. It's going to only take a couple of minutes. Get it all mixed up really well. Once it's kind of softened, we're going to go ahead and add in our tomatoes. I'm using a San Marzano style whole tomato. They're in the sauce. I go ahead and throw them in there. Give that a nice stir. We're going to let this all simmer for about 20 minutes. We want those onions, garlic, everything to kind of start mending together. We also want them to soften up. Now we're going to throw in our stick blender. Just get this all pureed. It shouldn't take too long. It should all be pretty soft. Just give a nice blend. You do want to get it all real smooth. When it looks like this, you're just about ready. Go ahead and season it up now. I'm going to throw a couple big handfuls of salt in there. That's absolutely pertinent if we want this to have some flavor. Mix that around. Now we're gonna go in with our basil. I'm using fresh herbs for this sauce today. I'm not using dry. It's gonna have a really nice, bright, pungent flavor. So I'm just gonna throw that basil in there, give that a little stir. And we're gonna let this go for about 30 minutes. Meanwhile, that basil is just gonna start infusing the flavor into that sauce. It's gonna come out just perfect. After about 30 minutes, you're ready. It's time to plate this thing up and have ourselves some spaghetti and meatballs. 
So guys, I actually grabbed an extra meatball and a little cup of sauce and brought it home. When I got there, I didn't have any spaghetti, but I had these cool long fusilli noodles. Thought these would work perfect. So I throw my meatball down on that, little scoop of sauce, and that's it. I was ready to just get in there and enjoy. Look at that. Hours of work are about to pay off. And I tell you what, I am so excited. I tried it and it's just nothing but fresh deliciousness. Man, what a treat. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Mm -hmm. Cheers, everyone.